Hey guys, I know it's been a long time. I've been away and I've missed you guys. Um, I've been working on a new printable template and it's taken over my life for the past month, it seems like. Um, it's a huge one. It's called the Ultimate DIY Scrapbook Printable Template. And the reason it's called the Ultimate is as of right now, I have seven, seven <laughs> different cover sizes in here, a seven different sized albums and pockets and flaps and envelopes and tags and inserts and mats and you know labels. It's just a bunch of stuff. In this video, I'll show you all the different templates. I uh, talk about my I've got let's see. Let me grab it at that. I've got two instruction manuals this time. There's one. It's really thick. Um, and I explain to you why I have two. And here's the other one. Um, and I flip through real quick. And I and I've I've done some new things in this instruction manual because I was working on a lot of the, a lot of these at the same time, and there were pieces everywhere. So I needed to be a little more organized. So I get a little OCD with uh, instruction manuals. My mom thinks it's funny, but. But it helps me, makes me, you know, work quicker, and I'm more organized, and I can find things faster, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'll go through that. I don't, I don't, sh I mean, I just show you what I did. I don't actually do it. The reason the video is so long is because, A, I ramble, and B, I show, I do a flip through of all eight of the scrapbooks that I have made so far with this um, printable template. So they all have covers, um, and those are the ones I started with. I'm sure that there's a bunch more. So if you guys get this and you make an album and you post it on Facebook or you post it on YouTube, tag me in it or Instagram, any of those, tag me in it or send me a message or something so that I can see it because I would love to see what different stuff y'all come up with this one. It is huge. That's why it's called the ultimate. Um, so I do a flip through. I'll show you real quick the different sizes because the video is already long and I don't want to make it that much more longer. Much more longer? That much longer. Um, here's the biggest size and it measures about 10 inches tall and eight and a quarter wide. So this one's pretty big. Um, I've already filmed the video putting this together up to this point even though it's really not finished. The cover's not finished. Um, but I do a flip through of this, all the pages in here. Um, I'll put timestamps below in the description box below so that if you wanted to um, go to a certain scrapbook, you can. Or if you want to skip um, looking through all the scrapbooks or whatever, you can do all that. Um, here's the next size. This one's pretty big. This, is an a this was printed with A4 paper, so it's going to be a little smaller than if you was printing it regular on 8.5 by 11. Because remember, you have to cut your 12 by 12 cardstock down to eight and a half by eleven or whatever your printer size is in whatever country you're in. Um, but the next biggest one is approximately seven and a half wide by nine and a half tall. So that's this one. And then I, I did the um, stitch binding. It's a Coptic stitch. Um, I don't show you how I made this one but I will. I'll make a video on how I made this. This is how I used to make my um, gigantic baby books, my custom baby books. They were huge. They were about six inches thick, maybe even more. They might have been like seven inches thick, six, seven, whatever. And they had 12 pages in it and they had pockets and it was all interactive. It was all completely custom. It was a lot of work and I couldn't charge enough to make up for the time that I would spend. So I quit making them, but I promised you guys I would show you how I made them. Well, in the process of doing that, I decided maybe you guys would just rather have a template so you can print it out and make your own gigantic custom baby books if you want to. So that's where this template kind of was born from. Um, so this is the second size, the second biggest size, which, there we go. So here's the largest right there, and then here's the next. So it's just a little bit smaller, but all in the same, it's all in the same template here. And then here is the set. This is the same size as this right here. These are the same. They're just different. This one's landscape and this one's portrait style. And then here's the next largest or next down. So in comparison. And then 
here's one. No. And then here's another size. So cute. I can't wait till y'all get to see all this. Well, I guess you're gonna get to see it in this video if you don't skip it. Here's another size. And then here's another size with the um, with the banner. So I shall do a flip through of all of those. So that's why the video is so long. So at some point, that's all I'm going to be doing is doing flip throughs and talking about the different things you can do with the template. Um, so I talked about the uh, instruction manuals. I do flip throughs of the scrapbook. Oh, giveaways and promotions. I have three. Yes, three. First thing is, I need to tell you first that this printable right now is only coming out in two designs. They're both new designs. One's a stripe and one's a polka dot. And I decided to do it this way because this one is so big. It's 41 pages. The template is 41 pages. Um, so I just, I'm going to do two designs now and then I'm going to do two designs in January and two designs in February. You, you kind of get my gist there. So my first promotion is that the first 10 people that buy this template you get both designs and there's an add-on I haven't talked about the add-on yet there is a um, addition to this template it's matte mostly but it makes your life a lot easier um, but you will get all of that in a bundle the first 10 people get all three and then after that 10 those 10 are gone there I will offer them as a bundle still for all three but uh, they'll be listed individually as well so um, that was my first promotion and my second promotion is uh, in the comments below down there leave me your vote on what two designs you want to see in January so I will tally those up probably right before January <laughs> end of the year I guess because it's December 11th I think today um, I will tally it up and the two that get the most votes, that's the ones I'll release in January. And those people that voted for those two that get the most, they will be entered into a drawing as well, or you will be entered into a drawing uh, to win those two new printables when they come out. So that's kind of fun. Um, so you guys get to choose which next two patterns. And then my last giveaway is now until January 1st, Anybody who buys my template will be put into a drawing to win my paper trimmer. My big Fiskars rotary precision thing, heavy duty thing. Um, it'll be put into a drawing to win that. I've already bought it, so um, it will be, that would be pretty fun. I think it's pretty cool. I love that thing. And you can't find them just anywhere. And sometimes when you order them online, the shipping is ridiculous. And anything you see in the in the flip throughs in this video that you want to see me do, um, leave it in the comment below because I've only made one video after this one so far. But I plan on showing you how to use the template and all the different ways that I'm, you know, all the different um, scrapbooks that I made. So if you want to see something specific that you see through the, on the flip throughs, leave it in the comment below and I will make a list and I will make sure that I try to... Um, include all of those things for you guys. So if you like my new template, give me a thumbs up. Whoa, avalanche. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see all the cool stuff that I'm gonna do with these uh, templates. And be sure to enter into the giveaways. Okay, so don't forget that when you buy the template, you get the plain template, you get the pattern template, and you get the instructions. So you want to print out your instructions and you can print out the templates onto cardstock if you want and you can cut them out and then you can use them literally as templates and trace them onto your pattern paper if you want to. If you don't want to run your paper through the printer or if you don't have a printer, you can put it on a um, one of those thingies, those stick thingies. <laughs> I can't remember what, the, what they're called, USB thing, I don't know. And you can take them to Office Depot and they'll print them out for you on cardstock and then you can cut them out and that way you can lay them onto your pattern paper and trace them out and all of that. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. All right, let's just get to it. This is the Ultimate DIY Scrapbook Printable Template. And this, um, I put this together just like I did the Stack the Pages um, instruction manual. 
Um, except I haven't done my tabs yet. It has the instructions, it has the templates, um, there's tabs, there's, you know, just like the stock the pages. So what I'm going to do is, there is a lot of instructions and there is a lot of templates. So, and the reason there's a lot of templates and instructions is there's a lot of mats for pages. So what that means is they're all going to look like they're the same, but they're not. So I'm just going to run through this real quick and show you a little bit and talk about it a little bit. And then I'm just going to show you all the prototypes that I've been working on um, for this whole entire month and trying to get things just right for you guys. So here we go. This is just a piece of um, transparency. I just try to protect the top sheet there. There's the table of contents and the instructions. Um, I'm going to skip by all the instructions because, you know, that'll take forever if I've read each one. But I do tell you how to do, you know, the covers and the, and, um, the spine and all of that. Everything has instructions and the list of materials you may need and the tabs. Um, this I'm going to skip over because it's an add-on. So... Let me, let me come back to that. Let me stick something under there so I remember to come back to that. All right. Almost there. This time, this printable, it is so big, and I didn't want to go and put all of the designs on the printable um, all at once. So what I decided to do was do two new designs together right now, um, and that is the Distress Stripe which is it comes in brown and then you can print it in black and white and then um, a polka dot so there's the brown and then there's the black and white um, I also discovered something while I was you can't I'm pretty sure you cannot see this while I was working on this oh maybe if I turn it just right you can print on black cardstock now that's the brown on the black cardstock and then there's the black on the black cardstock and what's super, super, super cool about that is, I'm not going to show you too much, but this, this whole album right here was done that way. So I used the black cardstock to, um, and isn't that pretty? I will, there, there is, I will tell you that it is a little bit harder to see when you're trimming out, but it's, I think it's worth it because it looks phenomenal. Um, okay, I wanted to point that out. So there are going to be two designs. There's going to be the Distress Stripe and the Polka Dots. And the, I'm going to do a little promotion. First 10 people that buy this printable, they get both patterns for the price of one, plus they get the add-on that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, so all three things for the price of, of one, the first 10 people. So then I also want to do, I just want to do two patterns at a time. So I wanted to give you guys the option of which two patterns you wanted to see next. So I think in January, I will come out with two more patterns. I'm gonna zoom in real quick so that you can see the patterns a little better. All right, so your choices are Distressed Harlequin, Distressed Bubble Wrap, Music Notes, Text, Doily, Watermark, Old Paper, and Collage. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to put your two cents in. <laughs> um, one cent for one pattern and one cent for the other pattern. And the two that get the most votes will be the ones I release in January. And of those people who voted for those two that get the most votes, I'm going to put you in a giveaway drawing. Um, and then you will, what you will win is the um, two new designs that come out in January. So I thought that would be fun. So just leave me a comment below and put your two votes down and, um, and we'll wait and see what happens. So I thought that'd be fun. And they're all really pretty. So plus the two new patterns. Okay, so here is the templates. Now, like I said, they look a lot alike. What I've already done is when you purchase your template, this black writing will not be on there. It'll just be, you know, the template. And then the pattern will be on there, whichever pattern you choose. And remember that this, this uh, template includes the plain templates, the pattern templates, and the instructions. 
The instructions are not available separately. They only come with the template. Okay, so this is the largest size, um, and it looks like this with its covers. All right, so I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Um, there's a main base A and B that connect to each other to make a pocket. And then there's the mat, and there's another mat. Um, here is another pocket. This is a smaller size. That is this size right here. Okay, so then there's the mat for that, and then there's photo mats, there's pockets, there's labels and inserts and more mats and a smaller um, pocket, and it's this size. This one has cover templates in here too. So y'all remember this paper? I think I used it a long time ago. Um, do I have another one in that size? No. Um, let's see. There's and all the, um, almost all the labels can be matted with your one inch cutoff piece and your three and a half inch cutoff piece when you cut your 12 by 12 paper down. Um, so you get to use whatever pattern paper you want. Um, there's mats for that page. <clears throat> there's inserts, mat for the inserts. Here's some flat pages, mini and belly bands and labels. All can be matted with your cutoff pieces. Um, pockets and inserts and labels, all mat it with your large cutoff piece. Um, inserts for the pocket, another belly band, another label. And it'll say in the instructions, which is why I went ahead and wrote this on here so that I know, oh yeah, that's right, that's perfect size for my um, cutoff piece. Let me go grab one so I can show you. Okay, so here is the, um, what is this called? The one inch strip that you cut off. And then here is the three inch or three and a half inch that goes on there like that. So all you have to do is, you know, measure the width instead of, or no, the height instead of the width or whichever. Um, there's a mat and these are fun, these little flip pages. These uh, will fit perfectly side by side onto one of the other pages. And then little tiny flip pages and then some uh, mats and all of these have, or I'm sorry, labels and all of these have mats, which there's some of them right there. And there's some banner pieces and some flag labels and a clasp envelope. And this too has uh, covers. And I think this one's it right here. This one, see, that's cute, right? Okay. I'll flip through all of these so you'll get to see real fast. Not real fast, it'll probably take a few minutes. And then a standard envelope, which is the same size as the clasp, so it's right here. So it can, the covers go for either one. So I just kind of combined them in that one. And there's some mats and there's some inserts. And so these can be matted with the um, large cutoff pieces. And then here's some big um, fancy flip outs and there's two of these so you can orientate them either way and they'll fit on the main base page side by side. There's mats for one side and then mats for the other just to make it easier for you. And then there's a policy envelope, a little fancy one, and that's this size right here. Right, it's cute. And I'll show you more about that and there's covers for that. And there's some pockets and mats for the pockets. Some banners, um, let's see. Let's see, I know I have right here, I have covers for this, so it comes like that. Cute, right? And then there's a banner envelope, which I also have covers for that, so it's right there. So, I'll show you all that in a little bit and some labels. All right, and here's the covers. There's the largest cover. There's the next to largest cover. Oops, yeah. There's the small cover, banner covers, fancy policy envelope covers, clasp and standard banner envelope covers, and then the spines. There are two widths of spines. There is a half an inch and a quarter of an inch right there. Um, and I included these because it's your standard score, half an inch, 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 uh, because some people don't have a scoreboard and don't want to take the time to do all that, so you can cut these out and use these um, for your binding. So that's all the different pages in this printable. Now, some of the stuff did not have mats and templates, and envelopes didn't have mats and templates, I mean, didn't have mats 
for that template. So when I was working on all my multiple projects over here, I was making these uh, matte templates for myself. So I thought, well, if, I, if it makes it easier for me, then it'll make it easier for you. So there will be an add-on. Um, I'll also show you how to make your own mats in one of the next videos if you want to. But I won't, there won't, these won't be too expensive. Um, but I'll flip through these real quick. These do not have uh, any design on it. Okay, just make sure you understand. No design on these templates. And then there's um, directions on how to use them. And so this one's for the clasp envelope. And this black writing is on the printout. And the reason for this is I'm meant for these to be used with your cutoff pieces and your scraps. So you cut these, you, you print them out onto um, cardstock, and then you cut them out really nicely, cut them out real accurately, as accurately as you can, and then that way you have them, you can just lay them on your paper, trace them out, and cut it out. So uh, I did that for the clasp envelope, and then this is the standard envelope, and then this is the policy envelope, and then this is the banner envelope and then there's some of the pages that don't have mats you're supposed to use your cutoff pieces I went ahead and put these I included these so that if you're making um, a whole bunch of the same thing you just take this template trace it out trace it out trace it out that way you don't have to keep measuring um, and it just makes it easier so and you just cut these all apart and I'll show you how I organized all this um, later but believe it or not it's actually not that bad um, and then it'll say, it says on here, page 16, matte template, use, uh, use large cutoff piece, um, lay this down onto that cutoff piece, and then, you know, trace it and cut it off. And then there's um, the, the banner pieces and even the little flag banner and the tiny little banner pieces. Everything has a mat that wasn't included in the, um, in the main printable. And there's the template for that fancy um, insert, you know, you get it. So you get that this page number's on there and what it's for, and I even wrote on there, like, this. these two are for the same template, except one leaves an eighth of an inch border and one leaves a quarter of an inch border. So this one you use your cutoff piece, this one you use scraps. Okay, so that is the add-on. So the add-ons are not included in your um, template purchase. Okay, so I have I've talked about the the um, the uh, instruction manual on how to put it together. So I suggest that you print out the instructions and print out um, a copy of all the templates. So this is one of my instruction manuals. I have. Two. The one that I showed you just previously was, I just put that together for you guys so it would be easier to flip through. Um, but like I said, I've been working on tons of these projects, so I cannot tell you how helpful the two instruction manuals that I put together have been. Um, so, what I suggest you do, now I did something a little different this time. Um, the last time I did it totally different. So, I made me some harder covers and made it pretty just because. Um, and so what I did, two things. I printed out my page on regular copy paper. I wrote down what's important info I need to remember and so I can, e I haven't even put my tabs on, so I can easily flip through and find what I need. And then I attached this piece of paper to a heavy duty or heavy weight sheet protector. And I got mine at Staples um, and it's heavyweight sheet protectors. Um, I don't know. There's 50 top loading sheet protectors in here. So I attached it to my sheet protector and then now I can, if I print too many I can put it in here and know that that's what that is. The second thing I did is I printed out uh, one on cardstock and the reason I did this is I wanted to be able to remove that from that plastic sheet and take it to my project and say, okay, what do I need, you know, what do I need to do? And not so much maybe with this page, but um, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So it's kind of thick. Let me, let me hold it up here. 
it's a thick one but you'll see why in just a second so there's the second page and then the same thing it's removed so what i did was i put just some cheapo double-sided tape on here so it removes really easily um, again i wrote everything down that i needed to remember and see now i can take this off of there and then i can come over here and go oh does this mat that or you know you get what i'm saying i think you do anyway and then i had an extra one i cut an extra one printed one out so Instead of just leaving it random in a pile, I know that this is page number three. So if I needed that, I could just go right to it. Whoops. Try not to let your tape get onto the plain copy paper. All right, let's get to a more complicated one. Mm -hmm. Right, let me find a page that I've got a lot of extras. Oh, uh, <laughs> another thing I did when I made those templates, the add-ons, I went ahead and cut them out and put them into these glassine bags and attached them to uh, close to the page that they belong to so that they have you know easy access to them and there's the small pocket um, so like for example there's multiple pieces in here so I added another page just to add just to keep those smaller pieces so they don't get lost but this is a pocket, so if I was making something and I wanted to try to orient it, you know, well, do I want it to go here? Do I need it to go this? You know, you can just take it off of this plastic sheet and take it to your project. And, of course, inside there is extras, and then there's those extras, and then there's the uh, templates, the add-ons. So this is just one of my... Um, oh, and I, I got a fuse... Um, I got a... Let me grab it. I got a We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool. I put in this um, Chinese takeout box. <laughs> um, I have to say there is a learning curve. They were not lying when you watch those YouTube videos. Um, but I have been using this for this project a lot. So I took just a regular old sheet protector. I don't know what size this is. And I made lines to hold all these belly bands and stuff. Oops, that one came apart. So that was it. And these all, you know, you take it out and you go, well, will that belly band fit here? And, you know, I think you get it. I think you get it. So everything's there and it makes your life so much easier and faster. You know, I made a mini album yesterday just in one day. So, I mean, it really, really, really makes, your, makes it go a lot faster. And then there's the templates for all of those. And there's the pockets and then I even when I had small things I cut a slit at the bottom to house those small things so that they don't get lost in there and there's the mats okay I think you kind of get the idea of what this one is about oh and these templates this was when I was making them before I decided to make them for everybody um, that's what these are they, they don't look like what you're gonna get <laughs> And there's the envelope. All right, so let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about in here. It just made my life so much easier. I can't even begin to tell you. Yes, it's thick and it looks crazy, but it has helped me so much. All right, let me grab my other one. This one. Let me move this one out of the way. Whoa. Okay, this, this is the second part of my instruction manual, and it's really not part of the instruction manual. It's really just to house um, the, the coordinating pieces. So, what I found at Staples, once again, are these, um, what are they called? 9 by 12 job ticket holders. They're really thick, they're really sturdy, and I used the We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool thing, and I separated it out. So the three and a half by 11 goes here, and then there's a smaller pocket for your smaller pieces, and then there's two pockets for your one inch strips. Okay, so why did I do that? Well, I found that just using a regular page protector wasn't sturdy enough for, um, you know, all the handling that this gets. So that's just a blank one. Um, and this one, like this, each one of these is a project. So this one is a Christmas album. These, I ha none of my albums are finished. <laughs> I have not had time to embellish them fully and put all the inserts and everything in there. But 
hopefully I will get to the, all of that. So there is, and all of these are removable. So you, I've cut the slit after, and I used my uh, bind it all to make those holes. Oh, this one doesn't belong there. And then there are just regular uh, page protectors for the bigger and the loose scraps because now that I have templates, it'll make it so much easier to use up all these pretty scraps. Oh, before I go on any further, let me put these back where it belongs so I don't oops, get anything confused. That goes in there. See, here's the smaller pieces that I was talking about. These are the three and a half, you know, inch pieces. So when I want to do a label, I can just grab one of them smaller pieces. And then these are things that are already cut out or they were printed out with one of the templates or they're part of the pattern uh, paper that I've cut out. So I just put them in a little sleeve so those didn't get lost in the, um, in the shuffle. And then here are the bigger scraps that I need to use when I finish my album. So the, all three of those are together. And then here is the three and a half, you know, by 12 and the one inch piece sleeve and the same thing, things that are already pre-made or printed, um, things that haven't been cut out or printed. Where is the pocket for that one? Maybe I finished it all up. I'm thinking I did. Um, and then there's some scraps when I want to go and embellish. That's one of the ones I'm going to be working on for you guys. And then, oh, I have this one backwards. No, I don't. No, I didn't. This one, I know why this one looks like this. This was printed with uh, A4 size paper. So, I've got some examples over here. This, it, by the way, is part of the template. Um, the top one is A4 size paper. And it stops right there. The bottom one is... Um, the regular 12 by 12 printed out 8.5 by 11. So there's barely a difference, but the one major difference is when you use the A4 paper, you don't have those 3.5 um, by 12 and the 1 inch strip scraps, which is another reason why I did the add-on templates so that you can use your, um, you know, use the leftovers or use another sheet of, of pattern paper. And when you're using your A4 paper pads, be sure to change your setting in your printer. Uh, my printer does allow me to print in that size. Um, be sure to change that. Um, and any of the templates that are in the printable, you can cut out and lay it down and trace it onto your A4 paper or even your 6x6 six six or your 8x8. Eight eight. Um, all the templates can be done, you know, if the size is appropriate, it can be used that way too. So I just wanted to show you that there's a little bitty baby difference, um, but it's not that much. So give it a try. Use your A4 paper. Like Prima does a lot of A4 paper pads. I'm not sure why they've gotten away from a whole lot of 12 by 12, but, but anywho, so here's all my scraps for this when I was doing this scrapbook. Um, see, I still need to finish everything. I haven't done most of the covers. Well, maybe a little on some. Um, and here's another sleeve and all my pieces are together. So here's all my extras. And I guess, I'm guessing that I didn't have any. I used all of my eight and a half by, or I'm sorry, all my um, three and a half by 12 inch pieces and one inch pieces in the album. So, oh yeah, that's right, because this is an envelope album and it fits those perfectly. So here, this that's it. This is the second part of my instruction manual and it's just an organizational thing to keep all of my scraps, because how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven out eight. I have eight albums that I've been working on together at the same time so everything is right here ready to go. When I'm ready to finish up one of the albums I just grab those pages and just go to town. So I don't want you to be intimidated by this. This is just kind of me being OCD and keeping myself organized. Um, you do not have to do this but it does make your life a lot easier and it makes the process way All faster. Right, let's get to showing you all of my different mini albums. Here's the biggest one, and this is one of the ones I'm gonna be working on. So this is one of the covers right here. So I'm just gonna put that over there. Um, and so I'm just gonna go everything in here. If it's not part of the paper line, it's part of the template. Um, there is nothing random in here that's all part of the template. 
So here is a flip page and it's got some tags and belly bands and then there is a side pocket there and then tabs and then there's another belly band and all of the ornaments they were stamped onto the pretty pattern paper um, and embossed. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys how I did all of that um, later on in another video. And then here's a those two fancy pockets. I made them into a pocket and a flip up like that um, with a couple inserts. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> This insert's got, you know, some of the banner flags, and then it's got one of those mini um, fancy flips. Okay. And then that flips open, and there's a belly band with an insert. Whoops, got out of frame there. And then there's another insert here. So this is one of the pockets, uh, and then, there, you know, the main base page is under there. All right, and then there's a, supposed to be an insert right here. Oh, here it is. There's an insert in the side pocket there because when you attach A and B main base pages together, you get a very large pocket. It's open on each end. Um, here's an insert. There's one of the labels and one of the pockets that flips open. And here is the uh, fancy, um, what I call it, fancy flip outs. I used a magnet to keep it closed and it opens like that. And then right here on this side is another one with a belly band and an insert right there. So, and then it's also got its little, you know, insert on the side there. And then there's another pocket with, um, what's that called? An insert. And there is also, oh, on the back of this insert, isn't that cute? I used some Baker's twine. There is also, uh, this is an insert, but I used it kind of as a, um, um, a oh, shoot, uh, like a label, a decoration. It's also been embossed on. And that flips out. Oh, look at this. This is one of the banner, two of the banner pages, actually, and I made it into a shaker flip-up. So you could put a picture right under here, right there, and it'll, it'll, it'll show through the, um, through the acetate there, and it's really cute. Maybe I'll show you how to do that too. Let me know what you want to see, um, and I'll try to fit it all in. Um, and then there's more of those fancy pockets, except this time I made it into kind of like a waterfall, and then that's a pocket with an insert, like that. And then there is a pocket right there. And then the next page, there's the ins. Oh, it's belly band <laughs> with its insert. And that flips out, and then there's the smaller um, fancy flips with the side insert. Whoa, things are going crazy. And then here's one of the smaller pages, um, with, and I made it into two pockets. There's an insert there and an insert there, and that's part of the printable. Um, and that flips open. There's a belly band with one of the labels and some tags and the insert. And then here is the back cover. On this binding, I made a pocket on the back cover and slid one of the flaps into it to attach the cover to the binding. Um, and there's that pocket right there with an insert. Oh, I've got me a little note there. And then right here is one of the envelopes. I haven't really, I did some embellishing, but I haven't done anything with it. And then like a flip. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, that's what I'm going to do with it. And there's a small flip. So this is real loosey-goosey right now, but when I'm finished, I plan on making the spine more sturdy, like doing a chipboard spine piece. So there's the largest one, and that's portrait style. You can also do landscape style. Let me set that one aside. And then here is the next largest. Um, and this one I printed on the black cardstock. Oh, and I... Did a little, this is the technique I used when I made my big baby books, is I would make signatures and I would sew them together. So I'll have to show you all how I did that. Um, okay, there's the little small flips. And like I said, not all of these pages are embellished. There's a lot I still need to do to each and every one of them. But there's an insert right there. You flip. There's a magnet um, to keep that closed uh, on that flip out page. And then there's a pocket with a couple inserts. And then this opens up. And there's two photo mats. And then there's an insert. And then here is the clasp envelope. 
Look how pretty it looks with the black and then you mat it with all the, the add-on template pieces. Oh, I didn't do anything with the inserts, but the inserts are in there. And this is the A4 size, remember. I've got those tucked in there. And then the magnets, how did I get that to work? I think the magnet must be, where's it at? It's right here underneath that piece of paper and then it's under here. I'm thinking if I'm right, where'd it go? Yeah, or no, it's on top it looks like. Well anyway, that's how it keeps it closed. And then here is one of the smaller pages with the belly band. And then there's the standard envelope that's been matted with the add-on template. See, I started to embellish, but then I, I, I found myself spending way too much time embellishing and, and less time finishing this project for you guys. So here's a flap, and then there's the little mini flap, and then there's a little pocket with a couple inserts. So, I mean, you, the, I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, this is just crazy. And, of course, the insert on um, I use the tab. I use one of the little banner pieces on the tab there flip and there's a belly band. There's another uh, belly band with the policy envelope. That flips out and that flips out. So obviously there's plenty of space here for uh, photos and journaling and this is cute. This is probably one of my favorite pages. It's adorable. So these are both policy envelopes and there's um, three magnets in each one of these. No, that might be, that might not be right. There are two magnets. Three, no, there's three. I think. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> okay, so I attached the policy envelope onto the side pocket there. And then it opens up here, and there's a magnet there. Yeah, and there's a magnet in there, and then there's a magnet underneath here. So it holds it down and it holds it closed all at the same time. So they're both like that. So you can put a large photo here if you want to, or you can journal. Um, and then I made the um, banner flips into a waterfall, just like that. And I put that on the belly band. It fit perfectly onto the belly band. And I matted them with my add-on templates. And then there's an insert here. This paper line is uh, Epiphany by Prima. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, just in case you want to know. Um, and the side, another one of those um, banner pieces right there. And I didn't, I just used plain black cardstock so far on the inserts. And then here's the back page, it's got a flap, and then it's got two pockets. I don't even have anything in there yet. Um, and then there's the back page. So, and I used We Are Memory Keepers eyelets to, um, for the hose for strength. So that's only two signatures. So um, that was a lot of fun. And this one's not finished. So I need to finish that one as well. And then here is that same size except landscape style. So this one's obviously Christmas themed. Um, this paper line is, I think it's called Claws and Co. by Simple Stories. Not 100%. Um, so it's the same size as this, except it's done landscape, and it's the um, eight and a half by eleven size, not the A4 size. So this one, um, I just this is the one I made yesterday. Um, there's a belly band with an insert, and there's one of the flag flips, and then there's another one with again another one that flips out this way. Again, I have not embellished. I haven't even put tabs on it. There's an insert right there. These are two pockets with inserts. Um, oops, let me get all this back in here. So this, um, this was the same printout. This was the exact same size as the book. I just cut it at a certain, um, a certain measurement, and then I put one on each side. So it looks like it was meant to be that way. Um, and then there's some more. This, some, of the, some of this is, you know, cut apart. Some paper lines have so many cut aparts, like this one. So I didn't have to print off too many of the inserts. And there's a side insert. And then here is a belly band. And look at uh, Debbie. I was watching one of my design team members' um, videos the other day, and she did this where she popped up a, um, a cute little something-something at the bottom so that things wouldn't fall out of the belly band, and I thought that was just brilliant. She says it wasn't her idea, and that's fine, but for me, I'm giving her the credit because that's where I saw it. 
Um, I did the same thing, the same idea with my envelope. So that just tucks under there and it's, you know, popped up with a little bit of foam tape. And then there's the cut aparts. These are the four by six cut aparts. So they fit into this standard envelope and the clasp envelope, I'm pretty sure, pretty well. So that, uh, what that means is the four by six photos will also fit in here. So you just tuck that back in there and it holds it closed. So thanks Debbie for doing that idea in one of your videos. And then here is those uh, fancy pockets and I just turned them the other way and there is a magnet keeping this closed. Uh, these were part of the paper line that I cut out and put on pop dots and then you know made them look like they're hanging down with some baker's twine. So this opens up and then there's a belly band again Debbie's idea with an insert and these are just some of the stickers I was trying to I don't usually use the stickers that come with paper lines but I was like I, I, I was thinking to myself I need to so I'm trying to make myself do that so that's cute that kind of um, is nice uh, nice neat and tidy and then there's of course the insert on the side and then the back page flap flap pocket and then this is the clasp envelope again with the four by six oh, cut apart well I think I glued them in there I'll have to check that out with the same type of closure and one of the cut aparts that came with the paper line and then a belly band on the back here um, so I really need to do some more embellishing on this one so this one is um, three pages and you can see where I stuck the binding to the hardcover this is the half an inch so that's cute right I need to finish that one up too then this is the next size up I mean this is the next size down <laughs> and this is the smaller pocket and uh, these are just cut aparts from the um, from the paper line this is oh secret garden secret garden by graphic no not graphic 45 shoot let me check yeah secret garden by graphic 45 um, and I just I've been used trying to use up all my different scraps that I have on my deck because you know some of the paper lines I buy two packs of and I've got leftovers and well, anyways so this one um, is not very big either this is uh, using the half an inch and it's got one two pages but the front and back cover you know have a lot going on on the inside so you open it up none of these have closures either I haven't had time to do that either so you open it up and here's the cover so there's a flap here that has a little a little tuck pocket and then inside here is the standard envelope now the cut apart pieces <clears throat> excuse me on most of the paper lines will fit the clasp envelope and these uh, standard envelope um, so you can mat them there as well so there's a pocket there and then there's the belly band with a flap and then there's the clasp envelope nothing in that one this is printing directly onto the pattern paper isn't it pretty I hope you can't hear my stomach growling because it is oh there's no side insert there but they're supposed to be and then there's those uh, fancy pockets again that are matted on both sides so inside of there there's two pockets this was the same pocket again I just trimmed it or cut it at a certain um, height there's the policy envelope to go in there and then this was part of the printable and this was a scrap so I just matted it and this was part of the printable to go in that little pocket there and there's supposed to be an insert there on the side Oops. and then here's the last one there's two flaps that open up with the pocket and an empty envelope but I'm just trying to show you all the different ways that you know all this can be used there's another oh, I didn't even glue that one together yet <laughs> There's another one of the policy envelopes and then this one folds out like this and then there is another clasp envelope. Um, I get this, I get asked this a lot, the clasp does print out onto the printout, onto your paper. And then that's it and that's the back cover. So right, that's simple, sweet, very interactive, looks complicated, but it's not. Um, Alright, let's go to the next one down. Here is another Christmassy one. Isn't this paper pretty this is the paper that I'm using that I'm gonna be using on the big one that I'm, I'm gonna um, make so these were like scraps and leftovers and these I did embellish this one just a little bit these were um, for trim a tree for little small trees or I guess even for big trees they're just little snowflakes aren't they pretty 
All right, so you open this one up, and this is the policy envelope. And then I use these little things as a banner. And then um, I, before I glued these together, I sewed in um, the policy envelopes and then glued them. So there's the insert for that. I did some, I don't, uh, you probably can't see. I did some embossing, some snowflake embossing. I matted it on one side and snowflaked it on the other. Just thought it was so cute. And I punched a hoe and put some baker's twine in there. That's one page. Here's another page, the back side. Just added some of the labels and made an insert. Isn't that cute? I love these little ornaments. They're adorable. There's some more of the labels with an insert. Another envelope, another envelope. Let's see what we got going on here. Tried to do me some stamping and some paper piecing. Uh oh, there's two. Which is a lot of fun. Again, that's I was spending too much time doing all of that. That's why it's taking me so long to get this out for you guys. Okay. Just some more embossing. I really wish you could see it. It says joy. It's really pretty and soft. Um, there's some more labels. So you can tuck stuff under there. And then two more policy envelopes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I glue it in there? Uh-oh. I think I did. I'll have to get that out. I bet you it's a really cool tag, too. wonder why it won't come out. Well, let's see. Now you gotta be careful. Don't put your tag in before your glue is dry. Aha! And so I did a little bit of stamping. <laughs> it wasn't that cool of a tag, but anyway. And then this side, just matted it on one side and made these cute little ornaments on the other. Close that up. And then here's the back cover. And I just put a little uh, mat there. And this is supposed to come out, but I glued it. So there's the back cover, and that was sewn. And then that was using the policy envelope. And then here is the uh, standard envelope and the clasp envelope. This one is called Crystal Frost by Craft Smith, and I got it at Michael's. Okay, so this time I used uh, one, two, three, four, four pages and then an envelope on each cover and it's pretty thick hard spine so you open it up and here's another idea I got from one of my design team members um, using the velcro pieces to keep your stuff shut so I, I really like that idea so I did that on every single one of these envelopes um, this envelope is printed out on white and then I used the temp the add-on templates to mat it and I did that inside and out so it looks really cool. And then in here is just a couple inserts that go into the envelope. See how it um, matches, makes it look really pretty. So that's the first uh, envelope on the cover. And then here's a clasp envelope using the Velcro again with its insert. And this one I printed directly onto the pattern paper. And so what I did um, is I cut this piece off the bottom before I glued it all together and then once it was on the um, the flap that is attached to the spine uh, then I glued this piece over top so it looks like the class envelope um, again I'll probably show you all that at some point and then there's one of the little belly bands oh I didn't show you the cover see those those are just little flat back pearls and I got them at the dollar spot in Michaels and I didn't even use a whole sheet and look at that look at how many isn't that pretty? I thought it was pretty cool. So I used them here and cut out some of the snowflakes that were part of the paper line and made an insert with one of the uh, templates. And then over here I printed a, uh, the envelope on white and then matted it. Um, again, it's got its insert. Isn't that pretty? I swear. I wish the camera was it's real sparkly glittery. Now this is glitter cardstock. I did not run this through my printer. Remember, these are the add-on templates. So I just lay the template down onto my paper, traced it out, and cut it. So if you have some really pretty glitter paper that you want to use, but you don't want to send it through your printer, because I don't want to send it through my printer, um, you just lay it down and cut your template out and lay it down, trace it out, cut it up. There's another one printed onto the pattern paper. Like that. Another belly band using those flat back pearls across there. 
and matten it with the cutoff pieces and another insert with a cutout or a fussy cut from the paper line. There's another one that's been matted with the add-on. With the clasp envelope, the only thing you're missing when you do the mat on the um, a white envelope or whatever color envelope is you lose the clasp on the because you're laying it onto your scrap paper and tracing it out. Uh, that's the only thing you lose. And then the back cover, again another envelope that has been matted all the way around and then it has two inserts matted inside and out. And that's it. There's the back cover. I didn't do any pearls back here because I wanted to be able to lay flat. So plenty of room to add stuff. So that's that one. And then let's do this one. This one is the banner um, envelope size. So it comes with the covers using the secret garden and twine and old book pages. And it's got a hard spine. And this one I did the uh, quarter of an inch. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I did a quarter of an inch spacing in between. So you open it up and I cut the bottoms off um, to slide it onto the flap there. Oh, where's my, I guess I don't have inserts for there. So these again, they printed the envelope onto craft card stock. Then I matted them with the add-on. Flipped the page. Oh, look at this. I made another um, shaker card and you can slide a picture I don't have anything to slide in there, but there's an opening there where you can slide a picture into there. So that's kind of cute. And then there's also the pocket right there. I just tucked the top flap inside. And then, oh no I didn't. I just matted it. And then I took the flap and I put it on the other side for like a little uh, pocket. And then there's another envelope that's missing its insert, but I matted inside and out. And then it's plain on the back side. So again, that one still needs some embellishing, but there's another size. And then the last one that I've got prepared is the uh, banner flag, and I did the um, bind it all. And so what I did is I folded the two together and I made a pocket. So each one has an insert that fits perfect. Whoa. And I haven't embellished this one at all either. It, you know, it needs a lot of work, but I just wanted to show you how easily you can put these together because this has a cover that goes with it so you don't have to do a whole lot of measuring and thinking. And then there's the back cover that I matted, it looks like, with one of the inserts. And then there's the back, pretty purple. Okay, and that is all I've got prepared for you. So I'm sure there's going to be a whole series of videos. I hope you guys give this a try. I hope you love it as much as I do. Possibilities are literally endless and I just love it. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and good luck on the giveaways and all of the promotions and stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye. Why do I have to say, uh, 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 the really, the, the, what, <sighs> let me, uh. that sounds silly. I sewn this one together. I sewn, sewed, sewed, ultimate DIY scrapbook printable template. <laughs> I've been making this, these, <laughs> the ultimate DIYs printable, no, the ultimate. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.